Hey, what's going on guys? This is your reading for August to the end of September singles love read. So we're going to focus on singles today. So if you're in the relationship business, uh, it's probably not the read for you. Maybe it'll resonate. Maybe there's something you can pick up on there though if you're in a relationship right now. But I'm going to focus mainly on singles. This is for us uh, that want to figure out what's going in in connection. So um, I got several decks today. We have oracle cards, two sets. I've got playing cards and I have two sets of tarot decks here. We're going to get really in depth today on each zodiac sign, uh, what it is that's going on in your connection or if you're single and you don't have a connection going on there. Um, we'll be sure to see that. Anyways, um, by the way, so like, share, subscribe. I have 73 viewers. And, uh, sorry, 70, I'm 73. Well, it's about actually 70, 70 in the subscription, but I have 73% of viewers that are not subscribed, so it would be a big help if you went and clicked the share, like, or you know, hit the bell thing. Um, other than that, let's get started. We're gonna do all signs starting from Aries all the way to Pisces. <clears throat> um, be aware these are general readings and they don't always resonate, right? So you know, take what does resonate and leave the rest, right? So let's get started here uh, with Aries. Okay, Aries. We're just going to pull three cards here for what's going on with you. The Chariot. The Magician. And the Empress. Well, first off, Aries, like, I get a vibe that you don't care what's going on with anybody right now. And you're moving forward. I like the Chariot card. Chariot card, that's fire for you, Aries. I like that. You're headed in a direction here, manifesting and just looking good here, you know. And I don't think you actually have a care in the world when it comes to what's coming in and out of your life. Um, magician keeps coming out for you, Aries, in some of my reads. So if you go back, um, you have a lot of manifestation stuff going on there. Um, you know, and not everyone's a wizard, Harry. So I think maybe you have, you've just found a good place inside yourself recently, Aries. And I do get that vibe where Libra is at home, or uh, Venus is in Libra, and it's at home. So maybe you're just finding that that space. Um, you might want to check your chart if you're Aries rising, how that affects you, by the way. Um, but yeah, you know, this is definitely you moving forward with manifestations. And like I said, not all of you manifest things or put them in your head or write them down, that type thing. But I do feel that you're just coming from a space of you look good you feel good and whatever comes hey <laughs> it's there what's going on here i got a mess going on here um let's see for who you're dealing with here see here four of cups nine of chalices and the five of chalices you know i feel like this person's manifested you back but they're disappointed and i understand like maybe you're just dragging him around and <laughs> aries maybe you're just dragging this person around you're a little too fast and that might seem like uh, for somebody, it feels like, yeah, this is the person I want, but maybe you're pushing too hard or you're pulling too hard, and it's kind of hard for people to keep up with you. Um, I would say that is what I'm seeing here in the cards with this four of chalices under the chariot, the nine of chalices under the magician, meaning, yeah, you are the wish come true. You are the, you know, you might physically be who they want and you know i'm pretty sure they see you like the empress here and then you have the five of chalices but this five of chalices is a little different from i think this five of chalices is different from other decks so he's letting go of something here and i don't think he's actually um focused too much on what he's letting go 
And he still has the two cups next to him back there. You can just barely see it. And I do feel like maybe your connections let go for a bit here. Uh, let's use the playing cards. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. For your side. For their side. You have the God of Knowledge and the Myth of the Great Mother. Yeah, you are definitely... <laughs> I'm getting a lot of like Queen of Coins vibes. Um, you've got an ecosystem going on right now that's killer and it's really good. I like the space for you actually, Aries. And you know, when you're kind of like at this vibration level and somebody's kind of like, meh, you know, they just kind of can't meet that even though they're trying to and maybe they fling off that type thing. I think that's what's going on here. Definitely on their side is the portal of, what is this? Family. And they have a portal for the animals, Seven of Clubs. So I'm getting like Stepping Stone Soulmate and maybe you guys were like in it for a minute and maybe this just kind of fell apart here on their side. Um, I don't understand this. You're probably in the same space. You don't understand this. Why? Let's pull two oracles for you, Aries. Yeah, because you're looking good. They think you look good. What's going on? You have fierce serenity. That kind of goes back to it. Like, I feel like you're just being fierce. And you're... It's a Leo card, by the way. And you have a lion on there. But I feel like... um, Definitely... You're fierce right now, and at the same time, I feel like you're actually not, maybe you're not pushing, and it's just the way you come off, maybe it feels like you're pushing this person away, or let's get an animal oracle here. Could have started a workout routine here too, by the way. Let's see here for the animal oracle. Dove spirit, be peace. You know, Aries, I think you don't even care if this connection becomes anything. And I think that's cool. I'm getting a very good vibe off that. I think if it just flies off and whatever, you're actually good with that. And you get the dove spirit, be a peace. You're definitely at peace with who you are now. Um, you know, I feel like maybe last month, this wouldn't have been your read, or maybe if you would have heard this last month, you wouldn't have believed that. And now you're hearing this and you're like, ah, yeah, that's me. So yeah, this is definitely good. Keep this energy up. Um, let's see what happens next week. I'm curious to see what happens with this connection, right? It looks like they want to let go, but you look like a wish fulfillment for them. So I don't understand what's up with that. Um, you're probably lost too. And guess what? Um, you're not a mind reader. And all you can do is just be at peace and keep looking good with this Empress, Aries. Gotcha. Okay, let's get to the next sign here. Taurus. Hi. Hi. So first we'll pull three cards for what you're doing here, what my single Tauruses are doing. I was thinking my cat would come out on the read, but it looks like he's knocked out for the night. Okay, Taurus, let's pull three for you. King of Chalices, the Empress, and the Two of Pentacles. Um, yeah. Right now, Taurus, you're in your head about somebody. And I feel like you're in your head about somebody very attractive right now. And attractive on the physical and the energetical. And I feel you're kind of matching that energy, but at a higher level. 
honestly. Um, it might be a challenge to kind of balance these energies, but I think there is a good chance that this is actually going to balance out. I'm getting very good vibes off this Two of Pentacles. Um, but all honesty, um, the connection, if you know, you're single just dating around, the connection that you have in mind right now is very attractive. And they come off probably in a different space from what you're used to. And I feel that you come off as this empress, you know, And that's that's great for them because I don't feel like this person looks down or they're looking for anything below that. I feel like this person is looking for the up, looking for somebody above his level. The thing about King of Chalices that I always like to think is that he is very attractive in the physical sense. So maybe that's why it's easy for him to be a little bit emotional, but I also feel that that's also why it's easier for him to shut down the emotions as well, the negatives. So let's see here, for your connection side, what they got going on here. Well, they came out all over your read though. And if it's not that you're dealing with a connection, I don't know why intuitively I feel like your person or, you know, they're coming out on your side. Or this is just you. Saying you look good, you have the emotions all set, and you're ready to balance that energy. And I feel like you're ready to balance that energy because it's due with um, work. I mean, Taurus rising, you have a lot of stuff going on in your... Definitely a lot of stuff going on with work this year. I would definitely check out, like, your rising sign. I would check out, like, how that affects that stuff okay um you definitely have a lot of changes when it comes to work this year especially for taurus rising so for your person side is the eight of chalices the three of pentacles and the star huh okay if you're a taurus and you came to this read and you're worried about your connection don't worry. I think they're going to step away for a little bit. And they actually, they have a secret. This person's got a secret about you, Taurus. This person stepped away for a second. They ain't going nowhere, though. I feel like this connection is really good. They want to build something with you. They have the star card here. Um, they might be an air sign or they might be a water sign. But I feel like it's really good. I feel like this is, um, they're definitely coming from that financial aspect of wanting to build something with you too, you know, because you have the two over here and the three, but I feel like they stepped away for a second, so if that is what's going on with you, Taurus, I feel like, you know, this is actually a really easy read here. This person has a lot of hope in what's going on with the connection right now, and you're here at this tarot read for nothing. <laughs> Let's get us uh, some playing cards. Let's 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 cut into the energy. Let's see what's going on on your side here, Taurus. Uh, portal for the withering and portal for the mountain. This withering, this nine of clubs came out upside down. These playing cards actually have upside down, upside right. I never thought of that. And this is Portal of the Withering, but it came out upside down. So I feel like if you think things are falling apart and they're not, this person's getting in their head about how to strategize for this. This person is definitely strategizing uh, for whatever's going on here. And so you feel like they're slipping away and maybe they're climbing up that road and going into that hermit mode maybe. Um, here, with the Nine of Diamonds and the Two of Clubs is... Um, they got Portal for the Red Moon and Portal for the Forgotten. They are definitely coming back. You feel like you've been forgotten about. This person's coming back for you. And like I'm not, you know, I don't get the sense like they walked away and they ghosted you. I get the sense that this person just taking a little break. Like they may not text you for a little bit or they, maybe they moved for a little bit. That type thing. But there is a hope card here, and there is a hope for something big, because you have these playing cards, 
and they kind of dissect what's going on with this card for their side and that's that they're planning something big here let's pull some oracles Uh, you have <laughs> happens when you most expect it so you guys can come back come back my my torn friend Ooh, come back here to the comments and tell me when this person comes back and they have that big plan for you come back comment let them, you saw it here first okay you already expect it you already know what's happening you've already had this discussion with this person <laughs> I love this Taurus and I think um, let's get serious a little bit before I keep joking around about your connection here um, this two of Pentacles and three of Pentacles they know where you're coming from financially and you've possibly had a career change big career change Taurus or you're stepping up into something good here let's see here for the connection we have coyote trust in divine detours like i said i feel like this person took a little divine detour that is creepy taurus get out of my read okay bye <laughs> how's tyler's tarot do he goes bye <laughs> get out of here yeah what is this some sort of a drama this person stepped away they're building you a house or something <laughs> okay taurus i'll see you again uh, tomorrow, actually, we do the Earth signs tomorrow. Okay. Who's next? Gemini? Is that you, Gemini? Who's there? The crazy twin? Or is it the nice twin? I called you guys out the last read. I've been calling out my Geminis for the last two reads. I feel like there's a lot of changes going on for you, Gemini. A lot of weird changes. And I feel like it's things you guys have been expecting for a while. But now that it's showing up, it's weird. That's what I feel. Okay, let's see what's going on with you. Gemini, Eight of Chalices, Five of Wands, and the Hangman. Yeah, I get that recently maybe you had a connection and you just decided to let that go. Um... <laughs> Are you butting heads with somebody here, Gemini? I think you're butting heads with somebody. I get it, though. I get it because you have this eight of chalices and maybe you've walked away from something before that kind of looked like this and maybe there's a power struggle going on here. I feel like there's a power struggle going on. Um, you know what's funny? You can actually do charts of when you had your first conversation with somebody or when you met somebody. And I feel you would find some stuff there, some very uh, mercurial, Neptunian type stuff. I do feel that. Um, I feel like you would find some like problems with communication and maybe like a power struggle as well. Okay, so maybe if you remember the time when you met this person or whatever, I would definitely do a chart. Um, you don't need me to do the chart for you. You don't need to get some guy. You could just pull the chart do it yourself online and study as you go the chart you know it's time we get woke and we don't have to buy an astrologer to tell us what's going on you know you can do that yourself gemini um i do feel like there's some learning here going on with how you treat connections and how they treat you let's see for your person you're inquiring about here if there is a person you didn't just ghost this person or did they ghost you it could go either way <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, but I'm also getting that you're learning something here with that hangman. Like I said at the beginning, before I even pulled the card out, that there is some big changes coming, and they're not like changes like you're shifting a job. It's not like a change like you're shifting a home or sh even shifting a relationship. I mean, that might be the case for some of you, but um, I feel like this is more of like shifting about worldly lessons, that type thing, you know, because the hangman here, he's underwater, right? So you know what it looks like underwater. You also know what it looks like above water. <clears throat> Before you go swim with the fishies there. Let's see for your connection side. Knight of Wands. Definitely an in and out energy that reminds you of the past. Page of Wands. They communicate like an idiot. They're having a good time. <laughs> and Seven of Wands. Uh, yeah. You know, they may have ghosted you and you actually like that. <laughs> Ay, 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 what's going on? Then why are you here inquiring about this? Yeah, this Knight of Wands is very in and out. They may have come off kind of like playboyish at the beginning or very in and out with the communication. That caused kind of like a power struggle here when you guys communicated. Possibly, like, you know, there's nothing about this being online. There's a lot of wands here, by the way. Um, but I am picking intuitively that there may have been online communications and that's where the struggle started. And as quick as it started, as quick as it end, had ended. Uh, let's see here for these playing cards. Let's see what we get here. For your side, you get the Two of Diamonds and the Joker card. Myth of Chaos. Chaos. Yeah, I do feel like that is you learning a lot of lessons. And that's you going into the darkness. That's you going into the anger. And, you know, kind of, I was joking around when I said you're taking that ugly twin out. Um, the scary one, the crazy one. And, yeah, that is definitely a space you're in right now. But I think this is for the good. And I don't necessarily like this connection with you. Like, this connection doesn't fit you at all. And you know that already. You don't need a tarot card reader to tell you that. For their side... Oh, yeah, they dropped this portal for the time traveler and the red moon portal. That's the third time that card's come out. I feel like they've dropped it as well and they might just slip into your like DMs or something again or they might send you a message again and that might trigger another power struggle when it comes to communication. You're not liking it so you know. I think this leaves space for you to grow though so that when you meet another energy that's maybe similar to this, there's a better way to deal with things. Or maybe it's just a thing, you know, that you need to communicate um, what it is you're looking for a little bit more specifically so that these power struggles don't happen again. Um, you may want to be in a space of you want to be alone as well. I'm picking that up. And, you know... Enjoying that darkness, that quiet spot, and just letting things kind of brood. And then I feel that when you come out of this, there's definitely going to be a better place for you to look for relationships. So this this read might, might be more for somebody that's not involved with anybody or there's no connection there at all. I definitely see that in the read. Um, there might be a Gemini that needs to hear this, but this dark place that you're in right now, it's not a bad thing. I'm telling you it's not a bad thing. And maybe you needed to hear that. That's why you're here. Um, oh, yeah. Look. Shift the way to new potential. Okay? So it's just a new way for you to think about things. So don't feel bad. Don't get in a negative space just because connections aren't connecting. They're just kind of causing these power struggles for you. Let's see here. Let's pull an animal out for you, Gemini. Uh, 
Uh, you get the scarab beetle. Magic works through you. That. Magic works through you, Gemini. So, don't think you're not a magical being. You are. You're very magical. Um, go back to my read for Geminis. There's something there about you being a magical being. Very magical, very beautiful. And right now, this dark transition you might be going through, this is definitely for a single Gemini with no connection. No connection out there. And I think that that dark space for you is is meant for you so that you can grow into something and then step into that light, you know? Very good read, actually. Um, see, these reads, even though they're kind of like, meh, like, I feel like they're actually the best reads, you know, because, well, if you were in sitting in the Taurus read, like, you may have things going on for them when it comes to relationships and money. And then here we have power struggles, but I think that you'll have your time in the sun too, you know? It's just all how the seasons work for you, Gemini. I like that though. Ah, oh, my back's already killing me. It's not the chair either. It's that Leo intuition. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't have back problems. I did last month though. I'm a martial artist here in Japan. And I did have a little whoopsie moment. Gonna take a little break here. You want some ASMR? I don't know. Is it ASMR? AMSR? I don't know because I don't care about that stuff. Do you guys have this where you're from? Leave it in the comments if you have Pink Monster. I have this here in Japan. It's so good. It's called Pipeline Punch. I don't really have always the sugar one, sugar free. This one's got the sugar to match the ambiance I got going. Do you guys dig the ambiance? Anyways, <clears throat> what was I saying? Who's next? Cancer? Cancer. Cancer, you forgot something. Because <laughs> I forgot something. So I had already picked up that energy. Oh, I was talking about me being a martial artist, wasn't I? I was saying, yeah, I did have a little back boo-boo last month. But I took care of that. I just know when I do reads, my back just, oof. I don't know what it is. If anyone knows what it is, let me know. Let's see your energy here, Cancer, Temperance. You're waiting for somebody. You're definitely waiting for somebody, but I feel like the wait is getting kind of long here. And although you've already proceeded to walk away from this connection, you took the first step already from walking away here. I feel that that's a very painful space you're in right now. I feel like some cancers, looking at these cards, Temperance, Seven of Wands, I feel like, because this is, this is Six of Swords, but in this deck specifically, I feel like it's one of the most painful cards. You see the swords in the snow? Like, I always get the impression that someone's crossing that barefoot. So I always feel like this is the most painful card in this specific deck, right? <clears throat> but I feel like you guys might be backtracking into something here. And you feel like you got a chance. Let's see here for your connections energy. They also have the Six of Wands. 
the Five of Pentacles, and Alcahest. That's a special card. We'll talk about that. It's only for this deck. Six. Oh, no, they have Six of Wands. Sorry. You know, see, see what I mean? This deck throws you for a loop. This looks like Six of Swords, doesn't it? But it's actually Six of Wands. This person's walking into some sort of victory here while you're waiting. But I feel like they're trying to keep you in the space of leaving you out in the cold because they're trying to create some alchemy in their life. I don't necessarily get that you're the problem or that maybe it's they don't want a relationship right now, not at this time. I do get the impression, though, this person's creating some sort of magic, some... Well, not magic, but simple alchemy in their life. They're trying to mix up a lot of things in their space, their personal space here. Let's see. For your side, Cancer, what the playing cards want to tell us. Like the magic, you also get that Joker, Myth of Chaos. For their side, we get the God of Light, God of Dreams. Yeah, and that's funny, right? They are definitely shining a lot of light onto their dreams here. And they are coming off like a king, if anything. They are coming from that kingly space, but maybe right now there's no time for the relationship. I also get, because you have this Six of Wands and Six of Swords, maybe there's a long distance thing going on here as well. I could be res that could resonate for some of you cancers. You might have some long distance stuff going. Um, I also feel like you guys might have some sort of saggy rising. Check that out because this temperance card is out here, and there is a lot of distance involved. So there's something definitely in Sagittarius. Check your chart. What is the Sagittarius? You know what what's going on there? You know, especially if you're Cancer rising. Um, you're manifesting this person and you're manifesting them back from a space where they can be successful which I think is really healthy but it's also really painful for you at the same time and that makes sense right the Cancerian way is like I know I got Mars in Cancer so I know you guys will wait and wait and wait. And you guys will care for somebody. A lot of the cancers I know, like, they will take care of somebody till the last minute. But let's see here. Let's pull Oracle for you. My Cancerians. Cozy up with risk. Yeah, this is kind of risky, and if you guys are waiting for something magical to happen, um, that's kind of risky. And just get used to it that you might be waiting a while for this connection to kind of go somewhere. Will it? Um, yeah, I see that the way you manifest them back, you're trying to manifest the connection back in a different type of space at least. So that's good. And if it doesn't show up that way, it might just show up in another person. Who knows? I'm going off intuition when I cozy up with risk, because that, that kind of threw me for a curveball. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's pull Animal Oracle. Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. Aww. Let Spirit be your guide, Cancer. This is such a typical, like, reading. It's like, they're gone. The connection I want's not there. I'm still single. Let spirit be your guide. And I know cancer. It feels like sometimes spirit's just not trying to connect the relationship, but that's not his job. You know, um, with the full moon, maybe you should have reached out. Maybe some of you did reach out and you got some success there. And with this hawk spirit, I always get king of sword vibes, right? Like, this person has the ultimate picture of how things are going to turn out. 
And I do feel that maybe you, you respect that. And that's really good, Cancer, that you respect this person enough not to really interfere what's going on with this. Really good. <clears throat> really good. Anyways, we all know what time it is. We know what time it is, Leo. Leo, you know. You know, last night, because that full moon in Aquarius, I felt like watching that movie, The King. I love that movie. I like the end where he realizes something foreign was actually not his enemy. And something that was right in his home was his enemy. I feel like a lot of you Leos are slain. <laughs> Let's see, Leo. Let's get the energy. I feel like you're slaying right now, Leo. Ten of Pentacles. The Fool. Five of <laughs> No, that's actually good. I like that. Ten of Pentacles, the Fool, and Five of Pentacles. You are definitely in a space of you're going to take a risk here now um, because you know what's lining up for the future in the big picture. You know what's on board. You know, this isn't a card for, oh, 10 days out, you're going to have an awesome house and love life. No, this is 10 years out. You know what's up. The Fool. You guys are ready to jump into something new, something fresh. Even if it's not there, you guys are ready for it. And Five of Pentacles, like, I feel there has been an energy that maybe cut you off or you're cutting off somebody that just doesn't have that ultimate view with you. I mean, I'm a double Leo, right? I know exactly what we're talking about here, Leo. I know what these cards mean. I know exactly what they mean because I'm coming from that space too. You want to talk about it, Leo? You want to talk about this Five of Pentacles? Let's see what your connection here. Or if you're single, let's see what's going on. If there is no connection at all for you, Leos, uh, especially if you're Leo rising, I feel like that's going to be temporary with this Fool card. You're going to spring into action here. And I just saw King of Pentacles, maybe with a Taurus. You do have 15 Pentacles here around the Fool. <laughs> maybe it's an Earth sign you're dealing with, Leo. Let's see for your connection they have. Page of Wands, they're definitely in a very immature vibe. The strength, well, they see you and judgment. They see you being strong and that you can be judged, and they're okay with that walking away. Um, there is a door that opened here, and I feel like they walked away, you know? Page of Wands, very immature on their side. That page keeps coming out tonight. He needs to, like, go do something. Take a vacation, Page of Wands. Um, whoever you're dealing with was in a very sp childish space. I do feel like if they severed the connection, that took a lot of strength on their part because maybe they felt that it just didn't meet their needs or that, you know, I understand this, Leo, like, you know, am I ugly or am I too nerdy or am I too out there? <laughs> That's how Leos are, right? Were you too intense for this person? Maybe you were too intense for them. And, you know, I said in the Aries read, right? Maybe you're dealing with an Aries. You do have the full card here, by the way. 
um, when your energy's here and somebody's vibration and their energies are down here, when they're trying to meet this, they just kind of like springboard and they... I know there's a lot of injured lions out there. Let's see what the playing cards... But you know, when the injured lion gets back up, he licks his wounds, and he keeps on walking, okay? And realize that you have the ultimate vision for that big picture. Let's see for your side, Leo. Playing cards, king of... That is the king of hearts, and that is the jack of clubs. Yeah, this had to fall away, Leo. 100%. This had to fall away for you to humble or for you to step into some sort of mode here to say, this is who I am and that hear me roar type of deal, right? I mean, you get your own suit here. You're showing up in your own read, Leo. You're showing up hot. And God of Synchronicities, yeah, I do feel like you were dealing with somebody younger than you and I do feel like... Um, they knew it was time to pull out, but I also feel that you knew that as well. You have, especially if you're coming to the tarot video, you have the spiritual sense of this maybe how to go away, right? For their side is the portal of Polaris. They definitely know that you have some sort of past life connection going on, by the way. And portal for time loop. Um, if you're counting for this person to come back, don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you're planning to reach out and say, hey, what is it that we want for the future? Do you want to work with me? Do that. But if you don't want that, then don't do that, obviously. And don't expect this person to come back. Let them go in their own little road here. Let them realize they judge the king. And they're showing up like a page here. They'll know. And if it's that you want the revenge, I would drop that. Come from a space of that you are the king. And who's going to sit there on the throne with you, Leo? That's anybody's guess. You know? And just let the universe do that. By the way, this side has three and three, so... They are definitely looking for something different, and they are definitely keeping their options open. But they, they really know that you were something special. So, you know, I'm trying to stroke your ego a little bit, especially if you came out of something heavy. I definitely feel it for you, Leos. Single Leos. Um, let's pull Oracle card. Uh, integrate your knowing. Yeah, you knew this had to come to an end. So just integrate that into your computer deep in your mind. And I feel that that gives you the space where you can make room for the new and take that leap of faith into something new here. There is definitely the feeling that something is over and that something is starting, right? There's definitely that it's been a long time coming for like soulmate connections, right? And if you don't feel lucky when it comes to love, stop doing that to yourself. Leo, you have some good luck coming this year, maybe for the next two years. Check your chart if you're rising. You might have long-awaited soul connection type thing going on for you. Maybe you already know soul connection. Um, grasshopper, take a leap of faith. You have leap of faith. You might be dealing with an Aries here again. Take a leap of faith, right? Um... Definitely, if this connection ended and you still want communication, I think it's a good time to reach out and say, hey, well, what is it that you want? And then for their side, you know, I don't feel like they want it with you, though. But I would definitely just to clear things up so that you can come from a space where you can move into newer things. You know, the fool doesn't necessarily mean you're taking a leap of faith into something new, right? You're just embodying your new soul, your new, uh, your new body. He is the soul. 
punching into that new body. And I feel like, Leos, you got it going on. And there are a lot of people that want to be with you, Leo. In September, especially, I feel like September's going to be your month. Um, I feel for you, Leo. Okay. Let's get to the next sign here. You guys think the ambiance I got going back there? Try to make sure I don't burn the house. Virgo. Virgo. I feel like you Virgos are going through some quiet time still. That was in a read I did for you two weeks ago. I think I even labeled it quiet time. I really do feel like my Virgo team, you guys are going through something deep. Transitional. And maybe it's how the public and private life perceive you, right? Um, let's see here. The high priestess, what would I say, right? You're quiet, right? This is why this tarot thing is amazing. This spiritual stuff, Virgo, if you don't believe it, it's amazing. Um, high priestess, the winged boar, and strawberries. Well, you have a very specific two special cards to this deck here, Virgo. Um, you're possibly walking away from something very emotional, very spiritual, and you're being super quiet about it. But I feel like you're leaving behind some... You're leaving behind some baggage, but not necessarily the bad baggage. You're leaving behind this baggage of you may want to come back to it type feeling, right? Sorry, I hear those candles popping. I, I get nervous. Anyways. Um, this wing boar is very special to this deck. It's like something lucky for you happened. I feel like some of you Virgos have something very special coming your way and that's why you you're taking this time out right now specifically in your life and then with this strawberries card i feel like something's rotted away or maybe you've seen for somebody for how rotten they are and you have something very beautiful coming your way or something sweeter but i feel like maybe you guys are going to feel really lucky when it comes to that situation now i'm worried because the cat's looking over there Sorry, I'm getting distracted during your read, Virgo. Um, actually, and then both your reads for the week before and the week before that, like, I couldn't talk. It's really weird. For, it's only for Virgo, too. I couldn't talk during your read. What's this that wants to come out? Okay, Virgo, you have a decision between two soulmates. And, you know, I say two because the strawberries card, there has to be something that rots. You know, and it's still sweet, but it rotted away, or and then there's something here that's sweeter. But that's also going to rot away eventually. And I think that's... You guys are scared that you guys feel like you're really lucky and maybe you have two options here. I'm seeing that now with the hangman on their side um, for your new connection or if you are in a connection. I do feel the hangman. Uh, maybe you're keeping them in the hangman and they're, they're feeling this hangman energy of the... They don't know where it's going. Or maybe it's just too fresh and, you know, you definitely see this. They see the six of chalices in you and the two of wands. Like there is maybe a decision that has to happen when it comes to passion and love and where you're going to put that beautiful moon and whose hand are you going to put the moon in? This one, he doesn't hold the world. He's holding the moon. And, you know, especially if you're Virgo rising, you have that seventh house Pisces and I feel like that is... 
what started a great war one day, you know, that, that healing, that beautiful priestess, right? You know, look at that movie, Troy. I always picture her kind of like a Virgo, right? And I do feel like she gave a lot of healing. Okay, that's freaking me out. <laughs> Anyways. But Virgo, um, yeah, let's do some playing cards here. I might have to turn those candles out. Will they be okay? I think they'll be okay. Let's stop worrying about them. Virgo, you have a lot of weird stuff going on. And it's been in the last two reads. I can't even shuffle when it's on <laughs> your read. Let's see here. Um, for your side, you have portal of for the beginning. So there's definitely a new connection here for you and portal for the withering. And there's definitely something going bye-bye. Nine of clubs and, no, sorry, nine of spades and the seven of clubs. Maybe you realize energetically you weren't on this person's level and energetically you found something for a new beginning that seems more in line with you i'm kind of curious what's on their side god of the waters and portal for the tide it's the queen of spades and the six of spades um For your new connection, they definitely see you as uh, soulmate potential. There is definitely something there that's unknown and mysterious, and maybe that's why it was so hard moving on from whatever you had going on there, Virgo. But there is a new connection here. And I think you really go ahead and take that quiet time, keep doing that, and um, hopefully I don't have to stumble on my reads when it comes to you guys anymore next week. And you guys can figure out what's going on here. I do feel like you've made a decision already, though. And if you have, um, go with that. You know, there's definitely beautiful new energy here. And whatever was in the past withered away. I don't get a bad sense, though, from the past. I get kind of like a, it was a difficult thing. Okay, so let's set a oracle for you. Limitations inspire innovation. So maybe you felt it, maybe you felt limited when it came to your past connection. Uh, like maybe they only offered you a limit, and that kind of opened you up to new things here. Uh, let's get an animal oracle card. Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. Well, aren't you lucky? Look at that. Yeah, you Virgo, you're definitely walking away from something that was kind of like meh. And maybe you're walking into something that's a lot more sweeter. Very good read here. And I feel like if you Virgos don't have a connection right now, and you are doing that quiet thing that I keep talking about, you guys are just in some, some sort of quiet space. Um, and it's hard for you to talk and move. I think it's okay. Keep that going. And let's see what happens next week with your reads. Okay, Virgos? Whew. Virgo drains me. I don't know why lately Virgo reads just drain me. Libra, 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 are you ready? Libras, you've been really quiet, but you have views on the videos. I think you guys have the third highest view video, Libras, and there is no comments. Are you guys too shy? Just leave leave some noise on the comments. <laughs> Say the read doesn't resonate with you. Go ahead and get sassy on the comments, Libra. It's okay. 
Leave me some love, Libras. Come on. Every other sign I think I've had comments from except Libras. I might be wrong. No, I think Libra is the only quiet sign. Let's see here for your energy and the connection. Empress, Eight of Swords, and Four of Pentacles. There is an energy of you. I get that this is kind of like a career shift that's keeping you in your head. Um, this was in your last read. And it's maybe not a career shift, but it's kind of like you're learning to do something, right? Um, maybe there's military or like you're going to police academy, that type thing. You're a bit in your head and you're feeling kind of trapped and you're actually holding down someone's energy here. But it's just you alone here. And I don't think it's that you're waiting for somebody to come save the day and cut you out of this eight of swords. I feel like this is you putting yourself in this prison, right? Um, or maybe like, you know, like I already said at the beginning of this whole video that this isn't going to be for people in relationships, but if you are a Libra in a relationship, Maybe you feel trapped in this relationship and that's why you're here on a singles read. Um, I would definitely exit that. Um, I wouldn't waste time. I have actually have uh, a Libra friend of mine that... A Libra friend of mine that has a friend that's a Pisces. I won't say who, because that's their personal business, but... They left something that they felt kind of trapped in. But I feel like we could use their example because as soon as they left something they were trapped in, they found, oh, poof, soulmate. Something beautiful showed up for them. And I think that was a reward for getting out of something that felt kind of stagnant, something old. So I'm getting, maybe there's a Libra here watching this in a connection. Uh, but this is definitely a singles read, so let's try to keep it singles. Uh, judgment. Uh, Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Um, somebody can't sleep over you. Um, somebody's probably waiting for messages from you or vice versa. For the connection, I think they view you as something they got to really take care of. More so because the Queen of Pentacles has the ecosystem and she takes care of everything, right? She's also good with her money, so maybe they see you good with money. Oof, I just got like a head rush. Ooh, this is a strong thing going on with you guys. I don't know. Uh, this person is going through something with this Nine of Swords. There's definitely something on their side that's not pretty. And I'm getting like... I mean, that's a scary card. Just look at it. I just feel like they have a lot of demons that they are dealing with at this time. And maybe that's why you're holding on to this connection and it feels like a prison. You know, even though you're showing up as the Empress and looking good inside your head, you are holding on to this connection and this energy. Um, judgment. And like, I feel like they've judged a part of you but maybe they judged your they judged your sweetness your kindness and they're not really taking tending to that ecosystem of this queen of pentacles but they know they have to let's see with the playing cards let's see what the playing cards have to say for libra Um, you get the Joker, Myth of the Fractal Tree. And you have the Eight of Diamonds, Portal for the Small Sun. So, I feel at this time, you're not doing anything but expanding your universe, the universe that you can deal with, on the physical the things that you can change you're changing and the things you can't 
hey, you're trying to give them a little portal to that sun, that happiness. Ooh, Libra. Like, I feel like my third eye popping. Like, I feel that, and then the back, my back. What is this? Your person has the Ace of Clubs. That is kind of a tricky energy, right? And Portal for the Lilies, Eight of Spades. There's definitely evolution going on here, but there is a lot of dark energies that this person's dealing with, and they're trying to clear out um, how that evolves, how that grows. That's anyone's guess. That's everyone's journey, right? And we'd have to figure out, like, um, what it is that this person's going through. Why is it so dark, and why is it that they can't tend to you? Um, I do feel like the connection is there, though. And I feel like right now they do view you like this Queen of Pentacles and they do see you like that Empress as well. I always kind of associate those two kind of like hand in hand, right? Um, very good. Let's get an Oracle. You are light. You're this person's light. I think if you continue being this empress and providing that small, tiny little sun that we got on the playing card here, if you keep providing that, that eight, you can see that, portal for a tiny sun, portal for the small sun. Yeah, you definitely provide light for this person. And I did say they were going through some dark stuff, didn't I? Let's pull you an animal oracle card and the crow spirit. Co-create with spirit. I've been noticing ravens a lot more. Actually, the raven used to be the logo for my old tarot business that I kind of tore apart and rebuilt into this YouTube. Um, so I think that was definitely something I co-created with Spirit. And when I see, you know, because a lot of people don't say, hey, I'm going to co-create with Spirit and go get in touch with Spirit. Oh, if you can do that, I mean, do that. But I mean, I think the normal way that you can co-create with Spirit, what this means is um, co-create with yourself. Like, just be that light and, you know, do those man do those uh affirmations that how you take care of yourself is how your person should be taking care of themselves and i do feel you'll get the best results with that that's really cool because you actually have a way to get a good result here with this read um so you laborers better paypal me <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> all right it's time for the Scorpio. By the way, I want to shout out uh, Stephanie. Uh, you're my buddy ever since um, I got started here a year ago. Thank you so much for supporting me. And I'm glad that I got to help you through your journey, Stephanie. And... Thank you for commenting on every Scorpio video, even though you don't resonate with any of them. You say Scorpio gang and comment. That means so much to me every time you do that. And um, you've definitely been there. You've definitely been a friend to me, Stephanie. And so I hope this read doesn't resonate with you. <laughs> Let's see. This is for my singles, and she's not single anymore, but... Scorpio, let's get to it. What you got going on, Scorpio? Got some fourth house stuff going on there for you, Scorpio? <laughs> let's see. Let's see what's going on. At the homestead with the Scorpio gang. Six of Pentacles, Page of Chalices, Three of Chalices. Ah, oh, you're in a good space. If you've met somebody, you're actually sharing friends. I don't mean it that way, not the dirty way. I just mean it that you are finding some balance and that you're able to express emotions now. 
And you're just having a good time here with this Three of Chalices. And I do feel like there's outside energies and they're trying to help this kind of connect somehow. There's also the understanding that there is something with money that needs to be tended to. So this energy, I feel like you understand that this energy understands your situation here. And that page of chalice is beautiful for you, Scorpio. I am tired of seeing pages come up all night tonight. <laughs> Especially in the Leo read. But at the same time, I get a very good vibe off of this page. He's one of the pages I do like in this. Because he's not afraid to express emotion and move. This is really nice. Especially for your energy. Because we don't want them showing up like a page. <laughs> oh, look who's here. Look who's here to stretch all over. Go ahead, sh show your butt to the whole world there. So for the connection, Nine of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and Judgment. I did shuffle these cards. I was shuffling them for a while, and they come out just the same way as they did for an another read here. Except it's reverse. I feel like this person was definitely in their head about stuff with you. Um, but they do see like that good ecology in you. And that you are definitely in the space of taking care of. And the judgment. I do feel like they've made judgment calls on how they want to proceed forward with this relationship with you. just gonna get in the way aren't you um a lot of you Scorpios might be dealing with something new something fresh um I feel like it's my duty to put this message out if they're not emotionally connecting to you right away don't be scared of that um somebody said that in the Scorpio comments uh that yeah Scorpios want a lot when it comes to the emotions, we demand a lot. If we don't get it all, we're not satisfied. Don't be like that. You know, allow people to kind of grow into the relationship with you because you do come out as this page, so it's kind of new. But deep down inside, I feel like their heart sees you as a queen of pentacles, something that they can build with. Yo, dude, what is up with you? Why are you being so lovey-dovey right now? Oh, that's, that's the second time Bobby comes out in a Scorpio read. And, you know, I do say he's a Saggy because I found him during Saggy season. It was my ex-girlfriend's birthday, and I brought him home, and I'm that was the best birthday gift, and I got the best birthday sex after that. But, you know, I'm just talking. <laughs> it's true. But I do feel that um, he is a Scorpio, though. Maybe he was born during Scorpio season because he was a little bit... He was still a kitten. He was still tiny, but I do feel like maybe he was Scorpio. I think my cat's a Scorpio. What a shame. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Can you just be a Saggy for a minute? Come during the Saggy read. Yeah, I think... I think for your connection, though, Scorpio... Sorry, I'm not trying to throw my life into your read there, Scorpio, but... I do feel like for the connection, um, give this time to go into a space of let them figure out emotionally how they're going to invest into you. And I feel they will. Okay, dude. That's the third time. Yo, dude. All right, we're done. You've made your special guest appearance. Good night. Sorry, <laughs> we're never going to finish. Um, Eight of Diamonds, Portal for the Small Sun. You are this person's um, happiness. And then, once again, this card came out upside down for another read tonight. So you might be dealing with whatever that sign that was. It was for one of the first two or three reads. And he's back. But I do feel like whatever is going in this person's soul is withering away. And it's not a bad thing that's withering away. It's a good thing. They're coming from a space where they have to let that go away so that they can mature here um they are showing up as mature by the way they're not showing up as a child 
um, for their side is Myth of the Great Mother and Portal for the Wind. Five of Spades and the Joker. Yeah. Don't knock my drink over because then you are definitely, I'm, you're off the table for sure. Yeah, they're definitely just going with the flow, I feel. And although it's kind of like they took a little leap of faith, but then they kind of stop, and then they kind of go, and then they kind of stop, and then they kind of go, and then they stop. That might be annoying for you, Scorpio. Especially you're a fixed sign. Yeah, I could see that being annoying. Especially how they give you the... They're giving you rations of emotion is just what I, what I heard. So if you're being rationed emotions, like, you know, like some all scraps, but you are getting them. It's just this person has things to deal with too. And I do feel like this is a very cool connection, very nice. Maybe you're just asking for too much. Let's see what the oracles have to say. Uh, fall in love with your own story. Yeah, that's right. You're in love with yourself. Um, kind of like Libras, where you just step into that space of self-love. That's kind of a theme for all the reads tonight. Just the space of self-love. And, you know, the partner seems to mirror. Your animal oracle is the cow spirit. The miracles are endless. Um, yeah. I'm not pulling anything off this card intuitively, honestly. I don't know why. It's kind of like silent for me. When I see this card, it's just kind of silent. The cow spirit put all the flowers... Let's go deeper. Yeah, some of you could be expecting flowers from this person. You are going to get flowers. Yep, some of you are going to get flowers. Um, this person's going to take you for a burger date. If they take you for a burger date, come back to the comments. If they give you flowers, come back to the comments. Shout out Scorpio gang. Um, there's something here about hamburgers and flowers. I feel like this oracle card, Spirit's not saying anything with this. I had to kind of pull something out of my, out of my hat for you, Scorpio, because I'm not getting anything off this card. And I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh yeah, I'm picking this up. I'm not picking any magic or anything. But maybe it's very torn, right? And it's very like fixed as well. So like maybe it's gifts. Like you get gifts from this person? Oh, yeah. Hey, maybe this friend is resonating with my buddy Stephanie. That's because uh, you got a tarot card deck gift from your person. Yo, dude. You're all over the read mixing up the cards. Okay. Next is Saji. Dude, I'm gonna make space for you on the table. Put my drink on the floor. You have your side of the table now. Yeah, just chill. No, just chill there. All right, we're gonna do the Saji read. I made you a Saggy sun sign because I don't know your exact uh, chart. So this is your read. Okay, Bubby? Saggy, what's up? I feel like Saggy's were going through it last year. But I feel like this year we got it going on, huh? And when I say we, it's because I have Saggy Moon. I did something very Saggy Moon 5th house-ish today. I also have Neptune. I went running uh, four miles. I put it on my Instagram. did four miles. 
and it was all by a river and then I went to the canal very Neptunish fifth house run some of you Saggies might be doing stuff like that I feel like that's the only way I can really really just have some private time with my guides my spirit is just through exercise I travel through less of a dream network and more of a working on myself network especially when I'm by water all right Saggy's death nine of chalices and the nine of wands you're about to rise to some power here some some unstable power here there is definitely a feeling of this is over finally and you get those wishes those manifestations those what I wasn't getting next last year you're getting it this year that nine of wands is hot too I am getting nothing but good vibes from that nine of wands uh, this death card too yeah I'm happy to see that there's definitely some stuff being put to rest but I feel like it's not like connections ending and this is a singles read so Maybe if you haven't felt lucky in love, uh, that's about to change for you, Saggies. That's about to change for you. End of August, September. That is... That is there. Uh, if there's a connection or somebody on your mind, they think of you as Ten of Chalices, the world. What is up here? And the Knight of Chalices, they're going forward with this beautiful ending. And Saggies, I feel like you finally have somebody that's there and it is a new connection that they want to write that beautiful story with you. But there's always a but, right? But I don't feel like there's a but here. Although that they're coming off like the Knight of Chalices. And i rather much rather see a king there, but the Knight of Chalice is dedicated to the quest. So maybe you need somebody that sees you like a quest rather than you doing the hunting there, Saggy. And I think that's... Ooh, and I just smell some perfume. Some of you Saggies are spraying perfume, trying to attract female saggies here probably and they're trying to attract somebody with perfume i just smell perfume it's really weird and these are unscented candles so the candles are okay just okay you're going to sleep all right he's he's out for tonight he's going to bed let's see get the playing cards for your side and their side Nine of hearts, three of hearts. That makes 11. You've possibly been in dream worlds where you're not heartbroken. You've possibly been in places that where you've wanted to see something happen in, in the space of your relationship life, Saji, and you never get it, or that you're always chasing, or that they don't seem to be chasing you, and now it's less of a chase, and I feel like for their side, they have time magic, where they just needed to brew, like, tea, right? That eights of clubs, and then the portal for the win, right? So they were just kind of going with the flow too. If you have a connection here and they may, you may be meeting somebody that's been going through the same type of network as you, like the same type of situations when it comes to love. And I feel like that there is a connection there. And it, if you are dealing with somebody new, singles, I feel like there is a lot of positivity and they want to write that story with you the same way that you wanted to write that story. Maybe a year ago when you couldn't get that, now you're ready to get that. It's amazing. What's going on? All right. I think you Sagis are the only ones that your read shifts every week. 
All my other signs, so far the reads have almost been kind of spot on. This card just, just two cards stayed here. They've been spot on, like almost kind of continuing off each other, but Saji's Yuri just keeps shifting and shifting. And I feel like maybe that's just that it's getting quicker. Whatever you're trying to get at, whatever you're trying to... I don't know. Let's see here. Let's pull oracles. Follow through, right? Following through. If somebody said uh, they would follow through, I feel like they are going to follow through um, with you now. And maybe you've never had that before. Also, now maybe it feels like the universe is finally following through when it comes to those chases for love or that you're no longer chasing. And it's more of a, a equal give and take here. Let's see. Swan spirit. Time for a deep dive. I love swans, by the way. Um, if you're into the whole twin flame thing, I'm not. I hate that. <laughs> I support it, though. I'm not, I'm not being insensitive. I know that it's a real thing. I know. I just don't try to preach it on this channel because I don't feel like it's, it's good. But if it's helping you and it puts you in a good space, I encourage it. Go ahead. So maybe some of you are dealing with some twin flamey type stuff because this... This is kind of like my Twin Flame for this Oracle deck. This is like my Twin Flame type of deal. So I feel that maybe that you've just let the universe do its thing, right? Now, by the way, these two kind of match, right? You're just letting the universe follow through for you now. There's a beautiful connection here, and I feel like it's 100%... On its way, if if you're a single Saji watching this and there is no connection for you, you feel unlucky with love, come back here in a month and tell me you're not lucky with love, okay? Um, if you're not lucky in love, I will give you a personal read. I'm not that popular on YouTube. I will give you a free personal read. Reach out if you don't have anything, Saji. If you're that Saji that doesn't have anything, reach out. I'm sure there's something on the way. Maybe you already know about it too. Okay, I'm hearing that. Good read, Sajis. Woo! Some of you may be getting headaches too, by the way, Saji. Be careful with that. Drink water. Um. Yeah, I'm just something I picked up. I don't know. All right. Capricorn. You know, in Japan they call Capricorn Yagiza. Ya Yagiza. It means goat. <laughs> but I always think that's not fair to the mermaid side. <laughs> half goat, half mermaid. But yeah, they call you guys straight up. Well, there's one of your cards there, Cappy. Cappy, you're just trying to jump out in your own read here. Eight of Pentacles. Are you working, Cappy? What are you working on? Remember, this is for singles, okay? Hangman, you're keeping somebody in the hangman here and two of chalices, but you are coming from a space where you do want to heal. I feel like you're focusing on your Pentacles, you're focusing on work. And you're focusing from... Sorry, I just keep looking at those candles. It looks like they're dying out. Anyways. Eight of Pentacles, Hangman, and Two of Chalices. You're working and possibly ignoring somebody right now or leaving somebody out in the cold. But I do feel like there is room for growth and healing here. Do You have a Two of Chalices. I feel while you're in that space of working, you kind of feel good, actually. And although there's this hangman energy, that's allowing for you to kind of see different things. But that helps you because maybe you've only seen things underwater if from an ugly space down with these fishies right here. Maybe you've seen that for too much of a long time and that's kind of like ugly now. And you're starting to see the beautiful with the person that you are making a connection with here. Um, and if there is no connection there for you, I feel like you are focusing on work and there is time for you to meet somebody that will heal with you. Let's see for the connection or your future connection here. 
We got two cards stuck here. I'll take both of those. Sure. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and Eight of Swords. For the connection, um, they definitely have... I do feel like there is soulmate potential and they see the money with you and look this is the copy rate so you know we're not getting six of cups but we're getting six of pentacles so they know you are about the money and they see that they can be your soulmate if they focus on the money with you copy i like that the problem is you're keeping this person on hangman for too long and they're gonna start showing up like this queen of swords a cold cold person they already feel like they're widowed from you is what i'm hearing um because you keep them on this waiting mode. You might be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And you also have an Eight of Swords here. So they they are showing up from a space where um, the connection has put them in a prison, a mental prison here. You know, it's time to take a break, Cappy. I think that's what these cards are trying to say. It's time to take a little break here. If you have anything that's kind of keeping you busy, I think maybe it's time for you to just put that aside and focus a little bit more on the connection. Um, if you don't want to deal with connections, Cappy, I mean, I think it's better to, to end it or say that, you know keep clarifying to this person so they don't go into this queen of swords do something to prevent that queen of swords from happening you are at a tarot read so you do have higher knowledge right uh, let them know that you're just busy with work but you are there and you will be there and i feel that that's all they need honestly because they do see you like soulmate potential um for your side travel portal for the time ten of clubs Five of spades, you are barely moving. And I do feel you're clearing out a lot of mental things from the past. A lot of past stuff is coming up for you because of this connection. For their side, they have the magic time, ace of clubs, and the three of hearts. So they are coming from a space where they know that it's going to be some sort of like divine timing stuff going on here with his connection um i don't think not you so much whereas you kind of probably don't care about what's going on um but i also get the feeling that maybe if it's you that's waiting for replies and that type of thing that it's coming from a space of past things and maybe you're focusing on healing too much here but maybe you have to heal right so it's not fair to say. I have a feeling a lot of Cappies this probably won't resonate. That's the second time I get that for you, Cappy, that this read's not going to resonate for a lot of my Cappies. I'm sorry. Um, that was in your video two weeks ago. Ever since I started doing YouTube Tarot... I've been memorizing my reads, and that is weird for me, because usually when I have a client come to me for a read, like, I don't remember their last read, and I don't do tarot journal. <laughs> I don't do that. Sorry. But I've been remembering them a lot lately, and this is just... Something told me to pull a second one. We'll pull a second one. Yeah, you're trying to create something. You're trying to create this alchemy in your life and get back to elemental. You are trying to create some sort of alchemy here to create something and come from a space that you're healed. But if you're healing and you're not letting the other side know what's going on there, or if there's not an open line of communication here, um, that just kind of gets stuck, doesn't it? Let's see here for your Animal Oracle card. Oh, 
spirit. You see clearly now. Forty-three. You guys have been trying to cover something up with work. But it didn't go in your favor here. And now I see the story. There is some light and shadow stuff going on in your life. There is some light and shadow stuff that's very deep. I even feel like these cards kind of connect. Um, and then this owl spirit here is saying that that's just something that you had to go through. And now you see what this connection is worth. Uh, maybe maybe for you cabbies, you have to see what a connection brings value-wise. And maybe you had to see what another connection brought to you value-wise as well. And now you actually see that there's a connection here for you that's very strong, very powerful. And they're even trying to be on a soulmate level. Because isn't that funny, right? Because this, this looks like a soulmate card. It looks like Six of Cups, but it's actually Pentacles. And this comes out in your read and their energy. They're trying to fit themselves into your world to be your soulmate. They know you're a soulmate, but you're ignoring this. Sorry. The universe puts you right where it wanted to, to heal. Okay, Aquarius. You get the Fool, Four of Pentacles, and Six of Chalices. You just met somebody new here. There is a new connection here for you. And you're trying to be cool. Hold on to it. I feel like you're just being cool. <laughs> Aquarius, is you're being cool about something. There is definitely a new connection potential here. Um, and it feels faded. It feels good. Damn. Aquarius, can you top out uh, Taurus's read tonight? Taurus had the best read tonight. Let's see, for the connection, or if you're single, there is a new beginning with that Ace of Wands, the Seven of Chalices, and the Fool. This person is very, very attracted to you, and they've had a lot of options, but they are definitely looking at you as one of those options. They also get the fool on their side. There is some new connection energy. I don't know what you want me to say because this is too fresh. For a lot of you Aquarians watching this, you have a fresh connection and it's super fresh to the point where um, there's no way to really get deep in this read. It's, it's brand new and it feels faded and it feels good. What are we going to do with that energy? Let's pull some playing cards. This is going to be a quick read for you Aquarius. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just how the cards and how I feel guided to read these cards. I feel like this is just too new. If there's something new there, it's good. Yeah, three of diamonds, eight of diamonds. Eleven. Um, yeah, this portal for the Polaris for the three of diamonds, it feels like it's fading. And the sun... That three, there's somebody willing to build with you. There's also somebody willing to kind of suffer with you and do things with you in a way where that suffering is your like little tiny happiness, right? Like whether it's sharing the rent, cooking a small meal for each other, I'm hearing that. Little small things that make you happy. Maybe you guys had a conversation about the small things that make you happy. This reads dope. And it's short. It's not as stressful as the other ones. You're finally Jack of Diamonds and the Ace of Spades. They might be younger than you. And they might feel very comfortable with you. I like that. Um, there is a lot of passion here too. Like there is something that's going to ex explode here. <laughs> no. Not, not that. Not that. Okay. That's not, that's not what I'm talking about. But there is something that's going to blow up here when it comes to passion. Take your time with it. 
You know, like, it's the small things that count, and that's what's coming here with the oracle. It's the small things that count. Let's see what the oracle has to say. Light in the unexpected. Oh, yeah, I feel like this is very unexpected. Just started. Is this? I'm also not picking up any, like, online vibes, but it could have been online. Um, it could have been something that... Just unexpectedly, you had a connection there, and it's fresh. Maybe next week stuff will come out. Maybe next week we'll get the drama, Aquarius. <laughs> Just kidding. Very light read, very good. I needed that after a couple of reads tonight. And Armadillo, set healthy boundaries. You know, that's, you guys might have some mercurial first house type stuff. If you guys put your relationship charts together, I'm not saying you all do that, but, you know, I would definitely check it out. And maybe you have to communicate about some boundaries, you know, so that this doesn't get off to a spoiled start. Although I don't see that happening. I see a lot of passion here for you, Aquarians. I bet that moon screwed with you. And sorry, Aquarius, the camera kind of cut out. So, um... Yeah. Um, I definitely see something kind of manifesting here, something new. Uh, but yeah, I think, um, well, I was talking about communication. Definitely you should solidify something about communication with this person <clears throat> if it's a new connection here. And yeah, that's it for you, Aquarius. So, yeah, that was a short read. Sorry about that. Um, wish it could be longer, but I'm not going to try to force a story out of these cards if it's not there. Especially if it's a new thing, something new for you. All right, next is Pisces. Hi, Pisces. By the way, Pisces, you have the most views on all my videos. So, once again, Pisces crew, thank you so much for all the views and comments. Mm. Let's see what we get here for the Pisces crew. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Chalices, and the Eight of Pentacles. Well, this kind of goes back to the read I did for you last night. Um, <clears throat> money's looking good. And there's a sense of you working on something physically. And I'm getting also intuitively that there's something you're working on the energetic level here. In regards to that, I feel like you may not be seeing results, but you're okay with that. And you're in an okay space to work through this. Um, so this is a singles read. So like you may be single now, but there's a connection you have in mind. Let's see what that's about. If there's a connection here. Let's see. Pentacles, the Justice, and the Wheel of Fortune. There's a connection here. There may be communication severed. There may be, this may be a no contact situation, I feel. And I feel that it's coming from maybe somebody you're trying to. I've been getting this a lot for you guys, but I feel like there is a sense of waiting for something to happen here and it's not getting underway. I feel like, if anything, the other side sees it as something has ended. 
or maybe they're reading waiting for you to reach out to them as well but there is a clear severed communication here with this justice card and see how that sword's cutting the snake in half um, the snake in this deck by the way is on the devil card and it's under the forest floor and you can't see it that's kind of creepy I just kind of noticed that now that this is the same snake on this justice card and it's biting that hand and there's a severance so there's something that's been cut from your life and maybe you're not feeling you're seeing results from that maybe you want to see some healing in that and the situation and then we have the wheel of fortune and sorry I mistook this for the world card earlier but is the wheel of fortune here maybe a lot of you are waiting for something good to happen by just working on yourself and being in a happy space by yourself let's see here with the playing cards what your side and their side has to say your side three of spades nine of spades you know it's funny all night long i've been adding up this side but i pretty much if somebody does it for me you can <laughs> If you add up every side, every number on this side has always come out as 11 on this side. And either every number on this side has come up as 10. So maybe 11, 10 has some sort of meaning. I have no idea. I'm not really into the whole numerology aspects of it. So, but check it out. Maybe there's some meaning in 11, 10. Um... Things seem a little confusing for you. Definitely. Whether you're waiting for something new to start. Um, if there is no connection for you guys, it may seem like a very confusing, scary forest of dating out there. and um, It may seem like things are just not good. But I think slowly that changes and maybe it's something about the way you communicate or you need to get into a space of communicating more on a physical level than an emotional level or maybe you just need to start focusing less on that. Kind of like Cappy's read. You can go to Cappy's read. If you're dealing with a Cappy, check the Cappy read. But maybe there's a whole aspect of you mirroring. On their side, they have the Six of Hearts and the Joker, Myth of the Great Mother. Um, there is a soulmate portal here. They are thinking about you. Kind of curious what that's about that wheel of fortune there very strange this one's strange from all the reads this one's just totally off like the energies are scattered in between physical and energetical Maybe somebody's resisting this connection. But I think with the Wheel of Fortune there, it's like the more you resist, the more it just kind of grows inside of you, is how I feel with that myth of the Great Mother and the portal for the soulmate. So, if you guys are waiting for somebody to reach out, I'm not counting on it, but they are there they're still holding on to this on the energetical you maybe not so much maybe you're focusing on work now um soul on fire okay you get pisces you need to stop with this twin flame stuff on my read. 
Pisces, this is the third time, and this is very twin flamey. Like, there's a disconnect. I don't buy this stuff. I don't think it's healthy. Honestly, I don't. Unless it's helping you and you're getting your money up with your business, and that, I think it's okay, right? But. I'm not about the waiting for somebody to just show up. I'm not about it. Um, but if that's your journey, this is your story, then um, okay. The cards keep telling me that. So I'm not going to neglect the cards. I'm not going to neglect my intuition either. Like it's it's there. But it's going to take a long time, I feel. And maybe you're just best off healing yourself and... Focusing on your money and not worrying about this connection because it's it's just not showing up. It's not there Maybe the other side's acknowledging it, but it's just not showing up here not on the 3d. No Let's see uh, Great hot spirit. Let spirit be your guide <laughs> <Okay. Aww. laughs> yeah. So A lot of you have faith in this and I'm not gonna shoot you down Definitely not. If that's what you feel and that's where spirit's guiding you, I mean, it's your journey. And this is this is uh, the path you choose. And you trust spirit to take you down that road to wait and do your thing. I mean, okay. Um, just be aware that there might be a purpose behind all of this. And I feel like maybe some of you might be like light workers or intuitives as well and that's great um i think you should definitely head down that path but whatever this connection is in regards to love i see like a lot of disconnects and a very slow movement and almost not budging so yeah i mean if you wanted to come to this video to hear that there is going to be divine union that type thing um sorry it's not here it's not showing up in my cards but you know you don't need a tarot card reader to tell you what your journey is and so spirits there with you on your journey and how you feel about those connections and I'm not going to change that you know I'm only here to tell you what the cards are telling me and my intuition is telling me and you guys keep coming up with that in your read so okay I'll I'll deal with that I'm the only sign that keeps getting that stuff and anyways, Pisces, um, yeah, so that's it for all signs read. Um, sorry about cutting off in the middle of Aquarius's read. My battery died. Um, I did charge it, but I think it's because I have a new setup with the microphone here, and it's using the camera battery. Anyways, this has been a fun, interesting read. Um, thanks so much for watching, and subscribing um if you haven't yet go ahead subscribe like share this video out to your friends that may need it um this week i'm gonna focus on reads on something else i don't know we did celtic cross this week let's focus on something else this week so we can kind of keep the theme of the channel changing always for you you know instead of giving you past present future celtic cross and all the normal jazz that you probably get on other channels anyways let's try to keep it interesting um, I, I want to do something for relationship and couple readings, that type thing, but I still have to figure out how I'm going to get the logistics of that down. Um, but anyways, I had a fun time doing this read. I had a fun time setting up the read. The candles, I had to blow them out in the little break I took between Aquarius's read when the battery died because these things were melting really bad. But anyways, I tried with the ambiance. I tried to make it a nice little safe space for everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I will catch you again on my channel. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.